Good morning. It's uh, 7.20 in the morning on Sunday. I think it's January 16th. Um, I couldn't post a video last night. Couldn't get enough signal to upload. And I tried, actually my phone tried all night. Um, I actually had a pleasant night. The temperature was colder, but the wind fortunately died down. And um, I actually slept uh, pretty decently. So I started walking this morning early. I've already done uh, probably over a mile, uh, done a mile and a half. Uh, my goal now is to walk to at least uh, Porter's Gap. I came to this overlook and I just wanted to film. It looks, you know, I mean, obviously the view's blocked by the trees, but beautiful, just beautiful. So, and here's the trail going up. <laughs> so, I'll check back in shortly. Good morning. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm up here at an outcropping. There's a memorial to Randall Heath, who died in 2001. I have to look that up and figure out the story there. Um, you can see there's a big outcropping here with an overlook, which uh, you can just see for miles and miles. And it's just beautiful. I'm gonna get a little close to the edge. Uh, I can tell some people have been up here recently, uh, probably, uh, you know, obviously enjoying the view. Uh, they've been partying here as well. I find uh, evidence of a couple of fires. Um, probably a little bit too windy last night to be up here, but you can see, uh, obviously, the mountain range to the left over here is where I've come from, I'm assuming, and all to the right, the valley, and that's uh, to the west. The sun's coming up, or it's already come up this way. If you look past the, uh, the other side of the trail, there's still that dirt road over there. Um, so I'm going to keep walking. My goal today is to get to either Porter's Gap or the uh, Skyline highway and then I'm going to be picked up by a, a shuttle driver. I'm assuming it'll be Emily again, but I'm not sure. And I'm going to go back to the POC tonight. Uh, my ankle's still bothering me. Um, I made this plan last night. I had a lot of time in the tent uh, sitting down looking at the maps. Uh, the temperature of the next couple of days is supposed to be cold. Although I got to say, honestly, last night was probably the best night's sleep I had on the trail. I think I was a little bit more prepared uh, for it. Um, I kept... I lowered one side of my tent to block the wind and it kind of worked uh, a little bit. I got some condensation so in the middle of the night after the wind had died down I actually opened the flaps and while it was cold uh, it actually wasn't as freezing as I had been the last couple of days and I actually felt better. So it made me rethink my plan until I started walking and my ankle is just on fire. So but I'm going to do uh, 14 or 16 miles today and then I'm gonna get a ride back to the POC I was contemplating taking a day off to let my ankle rest and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to be honest um, this is the way the trail goes see the blue blaze on the tree um, oh and someone left water here that was nice um, what I think I'm going to do is possibly take a day off, let it rest a little bit, and then continue. It may mean that I have to hike in some rain on Thursday, but I think that's the surest bet to ensure that I can get to at least Heflin, which is what my immediate goal right now is. And Cave Springs is a little further out. I'm not worried about it. So I'm... Definitely not the hike I envisioned. Um, I didn't realize that I would be having so much trouble with my ankle. So it's pretty good as I go straight. I just keep it stiff and tight. But um, I'll go to the PLC. I'll be able to, you know, change my clothes, hopefully wash them. Because um, I definitely could use a shower. No doubt about that. Um, and uh, clean it up, let it rest a little bit. I don't know if overnight will be enough. So, 
I'm thinking of taking another day off and I'd probably go to a hotel, take her down day, and then come back and finish up the last 50 miles or so until Heflin. So if I can do my miles today, I'll be just shy of halfway there. It's taking way longer than I thought in terms of days because of the injury. But I'm still intent on hiking and finishing. So that's the update. I'm hoping to post this video tonight as I'll be at the POC and hopefully I'll have better signal and I'll have power. If not, it'll be the following day if I go into town, which I'm leaning toward just for the ankle. Honestly, the temperature last night, I almost thought about staying out here and not even going in because I was able to deal with the cold. Uh, I guess it was a combination of the cold and wind the day before that was really making it miserable. I mean, I basically didn't sleep most of the night and I just tossed and turned and even in the sleeping bag, you're cold. So that's it for now. Check in later. It's about 9.30. I've done a little over six miles. Came upon this overlook and the most shocking thing I expected to find here is a garbage can. Amazing. I guess this is a popular spot and I'm assuming that trash and litter is probably a problem. So, uh, let me look over this overlook here. Not sure if this is where the trail continues. I think it is, but I just want to show you the look and see what I see. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? As far as the eye could see. Just the mountains and the valley and the trees all laid out. So. It's uh, Sunday morning. It's a nice, uh, cool January morning up here in the Vinhody Trail. Um, at mile mar marker 59.9, uh, where the trail crosses this little uh, fire service road, and there's a, uh, I guess, a cell tower right near me. Um, the ankle's gotten much worse in the last uh, probably two, three tenths of a mile. Um, it's just painful to walk on. So I contacted Nathan. I was going to have him pick me up at Porter Gap, but that's still like another six miles. And while I know if I have to make it, I can. If I can get picked up here, uh, that would be preferred. So I contacted him. He's working on that. And they're going to see if they can have someone come out and pick me up in the next uh, hour or so. So I'll just stand by here and wait. I have everything I need. I'm fine. Uh, the sun shining. It's... Uh, warming up a little bit had a really good day and it started out good i did the first uh you know four miles really strong i felt good um knee felt good ankle felt the same but it's just gotten worse it's hurting on the downs really bad it's more like a pain now before it was like an ache you know like a twisted ankle and you just walk on it and you walk it off but uh it started now uh you know anytime i'm, pre I'm putting pressure on it especially on the downs um where it's painful so I have a feeling this is going to be it. Um, definitely going to take the rest of this day off. I'll see how I feel in the morning, but I think it's just foolish to keep coming out here, uh, doing a couple of miles and then going back in town. That's not what I want to do. And that's not what I like to do. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the Foothills Trail. I feel the same way. Uh, it's the same ankle. So I don't know if I have something. I mean, I did follow up with it last time I had, uh, uh, you know, doctor take a look at the x-rays done, you know, but that's usually all they do. They don't go any further. Uh, and they always chalk it up to soft tissue injury. Um, I'll probably have to seek out, maybe uh, try to get some more 
in-depth look at it and what what the problem is or the easiest thing to probably do would be to strength train and build it up and make it stronger because i know i can do it obviously i've done the foothills trail and um you know that was 70 something miles so i can easily i think i can walk that's not a problem the problem is uh you know maybe keeping exercising enough to keep my joints and the tendons and ligaments and everything else muscles all strong enough to go out and do this activity so uh, a lot of philosophical moments on this trip so but um disappointed but at the same time you know i came out here i did uh, almost 60 miles um i mean 51 52 miles whatever it is i forget i forget already um you know i'm still happy that i came out here um disappointed that i didn't get to reach heflin but I also feel that I'm not done with the Pinoti and I think I'll be back. Um, I'm going to take tonight off and think about it, but I have a feeling uh, that this is going to be it. It doesn't make sense to just come back out here again and just call, uh, you know, keep getting shuttles. I'm, I'm wasting my time and there's, um, and that doesn't seem productive to me. And that's not what I really want to do, or this is not how I want to do it. So, um, I guess uh, the body made the decision for me. I don't have a choice. I'm just going to wait here now. I'm going to actually drink some of my water. I was doing really good with water. I don't think a uh, 14-mile stretch is too much of a problem. I could not imagine doing this during the summer, though. I think that would be really hard. It's really strenuous. During the winter, you're, you're, you're perspiring a little bit, but you're not definitely not needing as much water. I'm probably dehydrated as well. I'm probably not drinking enough, but that's par for the course uh, what I do. Um, I'll probably have some more food now and um, I guess I'll get picked up I'll head to the PLC I'll probably stay there tonight and then I'll decide what I'm doing probably overnight or tomorrow uh, but I think I think this is going to be it for the Pinoti for me at this trip uh, I might come back here in a little warmer weather you know the cold weather was, a, was an issue the first two nights were really bad I gotta say but um, last night was good so um with proper planning and 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 the mindset, you know, you can deal with that. Uh, but obviously, uh, physically, I wasn't up to the challenge today. It's six o'clock on Sunday evening. Obviously, I'm in my car driving. I've been driving for about the last four to five hours, and I'm looking at pulling an all-liner to drive home. Uh, much to my wife's dismay, too cheap to pay for a hotel room at times um, it's been an eventful day started out going strong had a great night's sleep best night's sleep I've had actually on the trail and I was actually second or uh, doubting my plan that I made and looking at the uh, map overnight when I contacted the POC about getting picked up just to have a recharge and have a night inside a warm place and taking a shower. Uh, however, that night, the wind died down, and even though it was in the mid-20s, I was actually pretty comfortable in my uh, um, in my tent and in my sleeping bag. I didn't even use any uh, the heaters, the hand warmers, and I woke up uh, quite positive, and I started hiking. And everything went really good for about the first four and a half hours. I mean, four and a half miles. And at that point then, the ankle began hurting. And occasionally, it was wincing in pain. It wasn't just the soreness I had had previously. Which, to me, is equivalent to having, you know, like a, like a, you know, when you turn an ankle or something, you just kind of walk it off and walk through the pain. Um, and that's how I felt constantly. But this was actual sharp pain. Uh, and that grew worse and worse as I walked on. So, eventually, I reached out to the POC and told them I'd be cutting my mileage short and I was going to go to Porter's Gap which still was about five or six miles away from where I was at and um, I came to a to the forest road and I asked if it was possible to get picked up there but if needed I'll make it down the mountain but every step was basically painful um, any up or any down was more painful obviously 
uh, down hurting even more. But even the ups, putting pressure on the ankle was not pretty. Uh, they told me to stay where I was and they were gonna get someone to come out to pick me up. It would be about an hour or so, which is what I did. Uh, Kim from the POC, one of the co-owners, came out, was kind enough to pick me up. They also had another hiker in the area that they had to pick up uh, right after me, um, several miles away, about 40 minutes away, but um, I didn't really care. At that point, I knew physically I was unable to continue. There's no way that I would have been able to walk to Heflin or anywhere else on that ankle. And even taking a day off, I felt that I would just be back where I was today, the next day. So if I rested a day or even if I rested two days, what would I get? Another 10, 15 miles down the road? Maybe not even that. And I would be calling for a pickup. So I decided to make the call and just decided this is not the time. And much like, you know, I've had before uh, on the photos trail, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to get my ankle looked at, see if there's anything physically wrong with it. But I think the key for me will probably be training, exercise, and strengthening those joints of my knee and my ankle to do the rigors of the trail. If this is something I want to continue doing, which right now I feel it is. I don't feel that I'm done with the Benhoti. Um Right now, it may have won, but I want to come back and beat it. And that doesn't mean, that's just mental talk for, I want to come back and I want to finish that trail. I want to do the trail. And I don't know if it means starting at the beginning, which is what I've done in the past, or picking up from where I left off, but I know that I'm going to go back to that trail and I'm going to finish it. So I am real sad that I had to do what I'm doing now. I don't feel good about it. My hike was not what I wanted to happen, not the outcome I expected. And physically, I'm disappointed in myself. But I know that I'll come back hopefully stronger and be able to complete that trail and obviously um, be successful at it. So I appreciate all the kind words I've gotten from people. Um, the comments that have been left people watching, uh, a couple of new subscribers, but more importantly, um, you know, I hope that, you know, it, it lets other people know that hiking, that you know what, this is not a straight line. Sometimes it's up and down. You take a step up and take a step back. Um, sometimes we have to fail to experience success. And that's the way I feel right now. While I'm not happy about it, and I'm really not pleased that it turned out this way, I realized that this is part of the process that, you know, you can't be a winner all the time. Uh, sometimes you have to try and fail, you know, and that spurs you on to do better and more things. So I'm trying to take the positive out of this because that is the positive that that doesn't mean can't be done, just means I didn't do. So I'm going to go home. I'll hopefully start doing some physical training uh, once it's better and uh, be a little bit better in condition for the rigors of the trail next time I go. And I'd really like to thank uh, Nathan and Kim from the POC. I cannot thank you enough. You know, I know for you, this is what you do. You're very supportive of the hikers. You're there for the trail. You're in an area that is underserved. You guys are huge on the south end of the Pinoti Trail. But personally, I appreciate what you did for me. I know Emily, um, you know, coming out at short notice. I realize you guys have lives outside the POC. And when a hiker calls you and you're willing to come out, you know, maybe change your plans or juggle things around, you know, how many people in life would really like to do that or be willing to do that? And you and the POC, all your people, Emily, you know, Nathan, Kim, uh, are the only three people I met or talk, spoke to. So, but I have to thank you because that, that is, you know, you're giving service to the hikers and that's noble and it's appreciated. 
on a personal level, I appreciate Kim coming out today because, you know, I mean, obviously I was fine. I could have pitched my tent. I could have sat in my tent. I had three, four days worth of food easy. Uh, I probably had a day or two of water with rationing and I would have made it out somehow, you know, I, it, but, but I didn't have to worry about that. You know, it was just a couple of, a phone call or two, a quick uh, day and things were in motion and okay, we'll be out there to get you. And whether it was an hour, two hours or four hours, at least I knew that someone was coming, help was on the way. And that's very comforting. So thank you very much. Um, I'll hopefully post another video uh, after I get home, have a chance to really mentally unwrap some of this and deal with it. And I had some videos that I had planned from when I finished the trail. Uh, I'm gonna try and still do those. Um, and then we'll see from there. But for right now, uh, unfortunately, this hike is over. So, thank you once again for watching. Till we meet again.